I want to applaud every one of you graduating here today for your effort, discipline, and tenacity in reaching this milestone of your lives, graduation from Rice University. What an achievement, what a moment to experience the pride of your families and of all assembled here today. The great classical composer Beethoven is reputed to have said, to play a wrong note is insignificant. To play without passion is inexcusable. This is certainly true in music and in fact in any art form. Perhaps we could all imagine our individual and collective lives as an art form. After all, what we do as people can have a significant effect on others. Think of a painting you love, a great poem that inspires, or the sound of your favorite piece of music. Then perhaps we could paraphrase this and say instead, to make a mistake is insignificant, to live without passion is inexcusable. Passion is what drives us to better ourselves. Passion gives us the energy to succeed in the face of adversity. Passion helps make us more creative. If we didn't have passion in our lives, wouldn't life be rather dull? But passion doesn't mean we are automatically right. Along the path, we are bound to make mistakes, yet we can learn from those if we are big enough to admit them. And we all need to make things right afterwards. It is also too easy to fall into the trap of immediate criticism, to criticize someone else's actions or a way of thinking. We need to understand actions on a deep level and, while so many actions are obviously wrong on a moral level, regardless of religious, non-religious, social or cultural backgrounds, many actions are done through sheer ignorance and thoughtlessness. This is where we need understanding and forgiveness. Being at such a great university as Rice, and especially living within the college system, has been a wonderful training ground for us all. In the colleges, we are incredibly diverse, with so many different ethnicities, cultures, religions, political identities, academic, literary, artistic, and leisure interests, and even diets. Yet, each college represents a large family, a sense of identity, a place to learn to understand others from different backgrounds, a place to learn tolerance, love, acceptance, and community. These thoughts bring on the idea of connection. What an inspiring thought that all of us here today are connected through Rice University. Many of you have traveled hundreds, if not thousands of miles, to see the special occasion of your students' graduation. All of you students chose to come to Rice and, as such, have made connections not just amongst yourselves and with probably a number of eventual lifelong friends, but with your residential colleges, with a faculty who have guided you through your academic life here, and perhaps with the staff who work at academic advising or in the wellness center, all people who are here to make sure you get to this very point in your lives today, graduation from Rice University. Consider now the connections we have here to the world at large, from a relatively small number of people to probably millions across the globe. Yes, we're in America, but our connections extend to all parts of our planet. We can bring the essence of Rice University of the passion of what we have learned here, of the community spirit we have experienced, of the intellectual and artistic stimulation we have received, of the energy and dynamism that makes Rice so unique to the world at large. If we can truly learn to be ourselves, the sum of our experiences, that's how we make good connections. To be ourselves requires confidence that we can contribute, confidence that we can learn from our mistakes. Then imagine these connections as lines of light and see how we can all literally spread that light with the passion and commitment all of you graduates here today have shown to get to this point in your lives. You literally have the chance to go out into the world and make a difference. Your experience at Rice of the college system will help your understanding of community outside of these hedges. Many of you have had leadership experiences within the college system and many more of you through work in your majors. All of you will also have had plenty of experience of others' leadership skills and will now have a much better understanding of what it is to be a leader and what it is to be led. Hopefully, through your personal experience, you will have a greater sympathy and understanding of the issues involved in leadership and how best to react when there is disagreement or even conflict. In the grand scheme of things, on a college or university level, 
These skills might not seem so vital, but they are the kernels of how to act and respond to the major issues facing the larger community, the city, the state, this country, or even our planet. How often have you had to learn to temper yourselves for the good of the group, to accept that others have different opinions and to perhaps even discover that others, on reflection, are right? Yes, it can be so frustrating, and how often do we all need to literally swallow our pride with good grace? But the end result could be so worthwhile and important. Going back to the idea of music, a great performance is achieved by a musician initially with the command of their instrument and the flow of their individual creativity. But after learning that command, mostly through being part of a group, anything from duos to full-size orchestras, a successful performance demands both individual and group discipline, passion, temperament, a willingness to work with others for the group ideal. A musical performance is a wonderful symbol of how an individual within a group can work on any level, from small businesses, educational facilities or research groups, in any field, up to governments and even groups of nations. Each must bring their unique individuality, bring their character and talents, offering selflessly what they can, but the real purpose is to create something that is larger than the sum of the individual parts. A successful group in whatever field does not suppress individuality, but rather celebrates and absorbs that individuality to transform it into something much greater and more effective. Each one of you here today has that ability to transform yourselves. Each one of you has worked hard to gain a command of your major and even if you do not pursue that major in the future, you have shown the discipline and work ethic to succeed. What an amazing, privileged, and exciting position you are all in. You can have command of your respective futures. You have learned to work within the various communities here from your classes, your study groups, your clubs, your residential colleges, and Rice University. You can all go into the workplace either now or after graduate studies with confidence in your abilities, confidence that you can have a positive impact and confidence that you can change things for the better. But above all, do whatever you do with passion. Discover that creative spark within yourselves. Fan that spark into a flame that gives you the energy and commitment to succeed in whatever field you find yourselves in. Be inspired to use your creativity in any way you can. Live on the edge. Don't live the easy life of comfort and stagnation. Be prepared to work hard and gain the satisfaction of knowing you have made a positive difference. Don't worry about making mistakes, but learn from those experiences. Have humility and keep on going. To make a mistake is insignificant. To live without passion is inexcusable. Thank you.